their candidates are, Kenyans who know uh, who stands for what, and Kenyans will vote their conscience and they will elect their leaders. All we don't want is people coming from outside the country to tell Kenyans, unless you do this, unless you do that, unless you vote for so-and-so, unless Finally. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's, Finally. that's what we are saying uh, is unconstitutional. Finally on that matter, because you're talking about foreign funding. U.S., for example, funds in the war against terrorism. So when are they good and when are they bad? My friend, we haven't uh, told anybody there is this thing which is, we, we've just said that on matters to do with elections in Kenya, Kenyans have the right to choose their leaders without blackmail or intimidation. That's what we are saying. And we have many partners. We run all, many of our program with partners. We, we, we work with uh, international agencies. We have development partners. Mm -hmm. We implement our programs with many of these partners. We have absolutely no issue with working with partners. We have issues when it goes beyond what the constitution provides for. But the constitution does not say mm -hmm. foreigners will dictate to Kenyans who to vote for. Okay, we'll move away from that, but you're still not telling us who said that and which NGOs these are. Many people suffering now because of a doctor strike that has gone on for almost three weeks and nothing is being done. First to say, and when you say nothing has been done, I think that is really unfair because so many people from governors to the ministry officials mm -hmm. have burned the midnight oil. Mm -hmm. They have spent countless hours on meetings, in boardrooms, mm -hmm. in meeting halls, to try and sort out this problem. The doctors are on strike illegally. The cost. So, and mm -hmm. you see, we have to choose as a country. Either we are going to be a country governed by laws, and it, it's, no, it's not different from what's going on in parliament, we have to decide. And every Kenyan must begin to internalize that we are either going to be a country of laws or we are going to run this country using anarchy. You know? So, bottom line, mm -hmm. it really doesn't matter what the issues are. We must respect the law. But the law okay. says uh -huh. the doctors should go back to work. Right. Yeah. We should follow the process. That CBA however signed by Mark Bohr, will be, will be made part of the negotiation and part of the consultations with the SRC. Okay. SRC, so, by the way, mm -hmm. is a constitutional body.